Good morning everyone, it is vlogmas day 6, I think it's the 6th, yeah. Today is a bit of a, I mean it's kind of an exciting day, not really an exciting day. I'm going to the cinema with my boyfriend to finally see uh, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Can't believe it's been out for like two weeks and I've not yet seen it. I'm heading out now to do that and then we thought it might be quite nice to like chat about my thoughts on the film and like just general Harry Potter culture at the moment. I watched a video by uh, Evan Edinger. Edinger? Is that how you say his name? It was a really interesting video, so I thought I might like do one of those old school video responses. So um, yeah, that's my kind of plan for today. But it's really foggy outside at the moment. Like it was foggy when I woke up and it's still foggy now. I'll show you. Like how crazy is that? When I used to live in the countryside, this was kind of normal, but it's still weird in London. So weird. So anyway, that's my plan for today. And let's go to the cinema. So we got back from the cinema a while ago and I thought I'd just quickly say what I thought of the film. Uh, it was it was really good. I did enjoy it. Um, I'm intrigued to see how they're gonna make, was it, four more movies out of the franchise? That'll be, that'll be interesting. In my mind, I'd separated it from the Harry Potter that I kind of know and love. Excuse the mess of that. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of didn't think of it as a normal Harry Potter film, which I think helped, I think, it helped me appreciate it just as like a new film and yeah I did enjoy it. It kept me on my toes, I didn't know what to expect, I didn't know what was going to happen so I guess yeah and I think there could have been more magic, I know it was more focused on the actual kind of beasts themselves like and they were very well done, they looked very magical but it seemed like they just thought oh let's just do all the magic at the end. I don't know, that was me. I was going to talk about kind of Harry Potter culture and fandom and stuff like that but actually now it turns out I'm going out tonight so my day is busier than I thought it was going to be. I came back and checked my emails and I had an email from a friend at Todaytix uh, which is an app that I, I love using, it's a great app and they said that they had some tickets available for a concert at the St James in the studio space tonight and it's uh, with Anthony Rapp who uh, most people in the theatre world might know from Rent. He's doing some like live intimate, it's live, intimate concerts um, quite nicely coinciding with them having Rent in the main theatre space. Um, so I'm going to go to the concert tonight. I'm really intrigued and excited. I didn't think it was going to be something that I would be going to, but uh, I guess it's just going to be a really nice little concert so hopefully i'll be able to film some bits for you guys it would kind of suck if i wasn't wasn't able to but we'll see what happens <laughs> Um, I just got back from the concert, well only half of the concert because I started getting this really bad headache. Um, I think I started getting it before I got there but it just got worse and it's always really hot in the studio and obviously because it's winter and you're wearing like jumpers and then scarves and then coats so yeah I very sadly had to leave um, but the concert was really good from what I was like there for. Anthony's got such a good voice. Is it Anthony or Anthony? He has a really good voice and it's really always funny seeing someone that you've only ever seen like on stage, on like screen even, like in the Rent film. It's really funny to then see them in person like five to ten metres away from you. So yeah, he, uh, incredible voice, really, really like interesting, varied set list. So I would highly recommend going, I think he's there for the next week and a bit a two week run I think. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get tickets on today ticks. otherwise I don't know, like they wouldn't have given them to me otherwise. I feel really guilty for having to leave but I did really enjoy it so do go along especially if you're a fan of Rent but also like 
just him or the person, obviously. Maybe I'll save my Harry Potter chat for another video, perhaps. Let me know if you'd like that. Um, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to. I uh, hope you're doing well and I will see you very soon. Bye.